The United States US will surprise the world by showing off the production of its newest bomber on December 2, 2022. After years of covert development, the US Air Force is rumored to be introducing to the public its brand, new strategic and long-range bomber. This bomber was first developed in 2014, 2015 under a very high level of secrecy to prevent adversaries, especially China, from knowing about its design and capabilities. It is expected that after being unveiled to the public this year, the B-21 radar bomber, capable of dropping both conventional and thermonuclear bombs, will make its maiden flight. The unveiling of the B-21 radar will be a historic moment, providing an exclusive view of the B-21 aircraft. The B-21 is the most advanced military aircraft ever built and is the product of pioneering innovation and technological excellence, said Doug Young, Sector Vice President and General Manager, Northrop Grumman Aeronautics Systems. The radar demonstrates the dedication and skill of the thousands of people who work every day to deliver this aircraft, he added. Since awarding the contract in 2015, Northrop Grumman has assembled a national team to design, test and build the world's most advanced attack aircraft. The B-21 is the product of Northrop Grumman's pioneering digital engineering practices and advanced manufacturing techniques along with breakthrough stealth technologies. Northrop Grumman is proud of our partnership with the US Air Force as we deliver the B-21 radar, a six, generation aircraft optimized for operations in competitive environments, said Tom Jones, corporate vice president and president of Northrop Grumman Aeronautics Systems. Much about the B-21's capabilities is still under wraps. Previously, interesting engineering had reported that the aircraft would be dual, capable, meaning it would carry conventional as well as nuclear payloads. The contract for the B-21 has been awarded to Northrop Grumman, the same company that builds the Beta Spirit and supplies stealth systems on the F-35, meaning the B-21 can be expected to provide the best possible stealth capability. Reports also indicate that the US Air Force has plans to acquire 100 of these aircraft, meaning that they will occupy a key position in the Air Force's strike strategy in the near future. If the number of B-21 Raiders reaches the minimum number of 100 aircrafters planned by the US Air Force, it will replace the aging bombers. Although the minimum number of aircraft is 100, the United States Air Force expects to operate between 175 and 200 B-21 Raiders in the coming years. Then, how much does it cost to develop the B-21 Raider bomber? According to the international financial news agency Bloomberg, the U.S. Air Force estimates the bomber program from its development to the acquisition and operation of 100 aircraft in 30 years will cost up to U.S. $203 billion of U.S. taxpayer money. The costs involve U.S. $25.1 billion for the development program, U.S. $64 billion for the production phase, and $114 billion to operate all 100 long range B-21 Raiders and strategic bombers that are in the 30-year life cycle of the US's newest asset. American B-21 Raider bombers are designed in such a way that they are capable of carrying out bombing missions against any targets around the world, regardless of their location, with the help of refueling aircraft. The B-21 Raider is also designed to be invisible to the enemy's most advanced air defense systems. Enemy radar systems will not be able to detect the presence of the B-21 Raider. The amount of armament that the B-21 Raider can carry and its operating range far exceeds that of any other US bomber except the B-2, which gives the US Air Force an advantage. The B-21 Raider bombers will operate from Ellsworth Air Base, South Dakota, Dias Air Base in Texas, and Whiteman Air Base in Missouri. Most likely, however, 
the US's newest bombers will be stationed at its military bases around the world, including at Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean and Guam in the Pacific.